the YF-16. But, as luck would have it, there has been some breakdown in communications between engineering and shop. It will be several minutes yet before the YF-16 is ready to be taxied. This is the YF-16, the radical new dogfighter from General Dynamics. Many people are concerned it might turn so sharp it will fly up its own tailpipe and disappear. The engine has been swiftly installed, as evidenced by the hula strut in the inlet. Okay, men, we all agree that since this end is both pointed and shiny, we'll always keep it in front, thus presenting the most favorable appearance. We introduce Phil Ostreicher, ace test pilot of General Dynamics, also famous for his mustache growing, Marine Corps sea stories, and motorcycle hijinks. Notice the steely eyes, fighter pilot's tan, crooked smile, and youthful enthusiasm. The engine is obviously installed to keep the pilot cool. Proof, you always see him sweat when it quits. The ground crew makes a careful examination of all exterior features. Keeping the shiny and pointed end forward with effortless grace, Phil concentrates on locating a suitable straight area for the taxi test. Power is added, the YF-16 leaps forward, and the afternoon's activities are underway. Perhaps Phil is thinking something like, better make this good. It's the only airplane we've got. I think we ought to consider taking it off about now. That's better. The taxi bit was becoming a drag anyway. I sure hope Lyman didn't get hurt when he dropped the camera on his toe. You know, for a little bitty electric airplane with one big Modecker engine, this flies kind of nice. I just hope like hell the landing doesn't involve the contortions demonstrated in the takeoff. Having found a suitable strip of concrete, our taxi operation is brought to a close. Certainly many things were achieved by the test including two minutes of a speechless test control, instant aging of several management types, and one fine demonstration of spontaneous airmanship. As our stalwart aviator dismounts, what do you think he's saying? I'm going to buy a ladder for this program before somebody gets hurt with this relic. Rather than participate in a public ground kissing ceremony, Phil greets his public with a handshake. After a careful hookup, the YF-16 is delicately towed back to its hangar. Eight months later, the same aircraft has flown 200 flights in the most ambitious test program in company history.
three days later. A high-performance single-engine fighter flashes over the desert base at supersonic speed for the first time. Later the same month, the low-cost YF-16 demonstrates its high maneuver performance with wind-up turns to 7 Gs at supersonic speed. Flight tests continue. March 11th. Another performance mark. The YF-16 pilot reports an airspeed of Mach 2, twice the speed of sound, at an altitude of 40,000 feet. Six different pilots flew the single-seat fighter during the first two months of YF-16 flight testing. They logged more than 30 hours of flying time, including one hour and 30 minutes of supersonic time. Results from the initial flight tests are in. The YF-16 is everything the designer said it would be. Its performance has either met or exceeded predictions. The YF-16 is everything an air combat fighter has to be. It is nimble, maneuverable, has fast acceleration. Pilots are impressed with its performance. They like the way it handles and the way it responds. Thank <laughs> you.